Well, let me just uh, introduce you to the project. Um, oh, the light. Let's explain why he just turned the light down on me. <laughs> Hello, my friends, and welcome to the beautiful city of Magdeburg in the middle of Germany, where at the Opera House we're preparing a piece by Jörg Mannes, uh, an old friend of mine. He's doing a ballet on Snow White. So, obviously, there's going to be an apple on stage. Uh, and we're going to prepare some holographic projections. So this is about holographically projecting an apple on stage or more generally how to create holographic content. Whenever we talk about projected spaces with Florian Papst it's a collaborative effort. We meet in his studio in Vienna and then play some game of ping pong between ideas and images, emotions and possibilities and finally then come up with the spaces for the piece. Well, in this case, it was a fairy tale, so obviously there needed to be some magic, so holograms would be a thing. Projecting on a scrim isn't per se a hologram. You need to take into account that you can't see the surface, so the scrim can't be visible. And what easier way to make something invisible than to turn the lights off? So you turn off the lights, and this means you turn off the projection, because the projector up here, somewhere here, can't illuminate the material. So avoid any other lights than the object that you have. Make it appear in thin air, in, in black space. So don't light the surface. Create an image that is black around and then there is this thing. And you can't touch the sides with this thing because reality doesn't cut off objects. So if you want to simulate reality, make sure that the object is kind of not at the edges of the image but somewhere in the middle and floats in space. That's kind of acceptable behavior of an object in a hologram but it shouldn't be cut off with a cater like, like in every film, like this can't happen. If it can use an environment texture for rendering that, that resembles the, the space that you're in because that makes it believable. Uh, here again, holographic content is, uh, as usual, as all content, uh, site-specific. So I'm sorry, you can't just create holographic content and hope it's going to work out. There needs to be a relation to the space. So um, if the hologram doesn't reflect or, or resemble anything that's around it in real life, like lamps and people and seats and everything, then, then there is a part missing. And that's why holographic content from the internet, from some platform where you can buy it, is a nice thing to have if you're doing club shows or anything like that. But uh, if you do want, want to do the proper thing, then create your content yourself. So that light up here is shining down to the bathtub and the bathtub is kind of reflecting the light upwards. So our apple needs something. If the apple is placed here, then it needs a reflection of this light on this side of the apple. And it needs a reflection of the bathtub on this side, like below. And then the rest can actually vanish in light. So, um, and that's the bathtub. And Let's have a look at an example of an apple. You need to see the stem and, and, and the reflections on the apple rec make it recognizable as an apple because it's, it's a glossy surface. A glossy surface with some paint on it. So always refer to your references. Oh. So there is a light that comes from below which is the reflection of a bathtub. It's an area light and uh, we fix some counter lights to give it more contour and it's more 3D that way and everything else is transparent uh, which is black in this case because we don't we don't really light it so then there is uh, some extra fill light and uh, the light that directly goes to the bathtub that's down here in real life there is a light up here so to fake that it would hit the projected apple as well I'm generating it here. As I found out, this area light will be shifted a little to the side because this apple is going to go to that side. So what I'm going to do is like I grab this and just 
just pull it over here. And then of course there is a lot of light rehearsals where you can fix those little details that otherwise go away the magic. We didn't make too much use of the hologram in this case because there's also a big backdrop that we used to create some images behind those stunning dances. So come to Magdeburg, see the shows because they're really great.